This is probably one of the most embarrassing videos that literally anybody could post online, other than if you're just gonna drop your pants and helicopter your pee pee around. So this girl's name is Kelly, and she has the most stereotypical California-ish accent ever. $750. And she is crying on TikTok because did her mom die? Did her pet dog get run over? Did her father leave her? Probably. But no. She had a bad photo shoot. It wasn't even that bad, as we'll see in a second. This is pretty much what peak privilege looks like. I paid f***ing $750 for a f***ing dumbass photographer to fly her from New York and take the worst f***ing photos of me ever, dog. My f***ing album art, I'm so annoyed. Okay, okay. These have got to be, be like the worst photos ever. This is probably... Her, her face is not in the frame or some shit like that, right? Maybe a dog pooped on her photos. Let's take a look. I look like I'm f like, my eyes aren't even open. And I literally only got like- I think that's intentional. Like if this is supposed to be an album cover art, this kind of gives like those, I don't know, Billie Eilish vibes or whatever. I don't know why I'm pretending I know what the hell Billie Eilish is. I've seen, I've seen her like one time. I don't know anything about her. All I know is that she's one of those I'm 14 and deep type of people. But yeah, I mean, it looks like a fine photo. I don't know what the hell you're crying about. Like you on TikTok right now look 20 billion times less cool than, than that picture. So I don't know. 15 photos back and like this is the best one. I look so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's arguing with that. But let's just talk about that accent real quick. That accent is everything that is wrong with the world right now. I cannot stress how much that makes me want to explode from the inside out, unless that's just imploding. That voice is like a worm crawling through your ear. That voice is like a cockroach in your testicles. That voice is like if nails on a chalkboard was nails under your ass cheeks, okay? I don't know how else to describe it. It makes me physically cringe. I, ugh. dude, you don't understand. If I was dying in a fire and my only escape was that voice calling up from up above, like trying, like a hand reaching in to pull me out, and I heard that voice, I would jump deeper into the fire. In fact, I would open up the Earth's or Earth's surface, the Earth's crust, and jump in deeper to get away from that voice. I would burn myself alive in the Earth's core, then be in the proximity of that voice oh my god anyways yeah you kind of look like a goofball in that picture but who was the one who did that pose i mean you 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 were aware did the did the camera guy drug you or some shit or did you hire them exactly you did the pose they took the picture they can't change the goddamn picture that's exactly just how you look what do you want them to do okay they can edit you a bit but they can't change your pose or anything and you know what's bit what's more goofy than that picture you crying on tiktok over pictures it, it is it is embarrassing it is pathetic it is Gen Z behavior. This is why Gen Z has a bad name because this is Gen Z. This is ridiculous. What is what is wrong with you? Oh my god! I literally can't. I paid so much money for these f***ing images, dog. Like, what the f is that? Ew! <laughs> my eyes are literally not open, and it's so. It's so annoying. No, no, no. Actually, this clip is 10 times more embarrassing and more annoying. Now, I just want to go through a couple reasons as to why she is so unable to realize that these pictures look exactly like her. There's like, if you opened your eyes, it's not going to get 20 times better pictures or something. So... One of the problems is that she thinks that she looks much better than she actually does because of Instagram filters and makeup and angles and just all these sort of things, okay? She has boosted her own ego to such an extent that she is unable to face the reality of her just looking like a normal person, like looking like she does. Now, obviously, after all of that whining, I obviously had to look her up. And if you go to her TikTok and Instagram, it is just filled with her, literally like naked, not like actually naked, but you know, naked type of pictures in like 750 different poses. She's doing those classic TikTok thirst trap dances. The Instagram's a thirst trap, everything, okay? My question is, how many more naked pictures do you need? Like, well, when is it enough? Like, that's what I don't get with these all these like model girls or whatever. Oh man, oh man, if I saw my daughter doing this, ay, 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 you, <laughs> you're not even getting disowned, okay? I'm not even gonna tell your mother about it. I am just going to take you straight to Mount 
I don't know a volcano. Damn it, I don't even know a volcano. Is Kilimanjaro a volcano? Is Vesuvius a volcano or are they just mountains? I don't know. I will take you to a volcano and throw you in there. That's the sound of you boiling alive. All right, Jesus Christ. No, no blood of mine will be doing that ever, okay? You're embarrassing. Your father hates you. Your mother doesn't love you. The world does not give a single shit that you are crying about a goddamn picture, okay? People have real problems. People have actual, actual problems that you don't seemingly have, considering you're able to film yourself naked on TikTok and Instagram all day, every day. What is this? What is What has become of our generation? How is this okay? How is this all normalized? I do not understand. Why isn't this person being laughed off by the internet by anyone other than me and other comedy creators? Why isn't her TikTok audience waking up and being like, what the f I'm watching this mother flipper? She has 500,000 followers. Now, granted, it's on TikTok, which doesn't mean much, okay? But anyways, now, of course, we got to check out the Reddit comments. I don't even care if you're right or not. This girl needs therapy. Amen to that. Pathetic that she posted this. If I had to tell her family or friends or phone number, I would call them and tell them they need to have an intervention <laughs> for this behavior. Yeah, social media content to this extent is a mistake. Like, I'm sorry if you're crying over a photograph. First off, seven, I don't know what, what are the prices of phot photographers or whatever, but if you're paying $750 for a photograph, right? A photo shoot. You probably want some top-notch stuff, right? I don't know if that's less rates or more rates. I'm not, I'm not the type of guy to get a model photo shoot, obviously. So if you're paying $750 for a photo, shouldn't you f***ing check that your eyes are open in the goddamn photo? Are you that much of a moron? You cannot double check. You just, you just took a photo shoot and then you told the photographer, give me the best photos. Plenty of people might think you look perfectly fine with your eyes a little closed. Like wh why, wh what's the problem with the eyes a little closed? It adds a bit, bit of character, a bit of intimidation. If it's an album cover and the and the theme, unless your your album's about sun sunrises and daisies, it's in a, well, then that's not gonna fit. But if it's something, something cool or something like that, then it would probably fit, right? At least that's that's my opinion. So if you wanted something extremely specific, why don't you, here, here's a thought, here's a thought. Why don't you tell your goddamn photographer exactly what you want so that they understand what type of photographs to ask for? I don't like these photos of me, so I'm going to show everybody online and pretend to cry about it. Jeez. Oh, the, the second option for this, okay, is that she thinks she actually looks good, good in those photos and is using it as an excuse to show it to TikTok so that people will be like, oh, no, 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 no princess it's like when a, a plainly beautiful girl will be like i'm so ugly it's like the most annoying shit ever okay because they're very well aware okay obviously some people are insecure but these people are so aware because they're on social media okay you get hundreds of dms every day you get you get people flooding your comments don't pretend you don't know oh well i don't read the comments Shut the hell up. This is a really good point. Like the first and third photos aren't bad. She's not bad looking. She could definitely use either of those two for an album cover or whatever she said they were for. The overuse of filters really bothers me. The last two phones I've had had automatically had a beauty face option turned on when using the camera. I mean, factory default settings straight from the box. And a lot of people don't realize that. Add to that intentional filters and you have a lot of people who never really look at themselves. Back in my day, we looked in the mirror and had to face how ugly we were every day. That is a funny comment. I look, <laughs> I look so stupid. Wait until you hear how you sound. I told you, I knew it wasn't just me, dude. Let me know what you guys thought. This is clearly a case of main character syndrome, man. Screw your heads on, right? Okay. Do I need to personally come there into your room and tell you how much of a fucking loser you are before you get Get, get it through your head that you're not special. I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. I love you guys. Bye-bye.